Welcome back to my channel guys and today in this video I am going to talk about what are webhooks and how we can work with webhooks inside our Laravel application. So what are webhooks? Webhooks are basically ways for external applications to send information to us on our application. So let's just say we have an e-commerce solution. Now we want that when the payment gateway receives a payment from any user it should intimate us that a payment was successfully done, right? This is a very common practice. So what we will do is we will listen for webhook informations, okay? And our application, once it receives that data or rather that event with that data, our application will behave in a certain way. To demonstrate this, what I am going to do is I'll show you as a video. So I have a dummy repository on GitHub. And what I am trying to do here is, let's just say, if I comment on any ticket on GitHub, as you can see, I have done recently a lot of R&D on this. So adding a new comment. If I comment over here, you will see a notification will come over here. This is right now blank, right? So I'll just hit comment. Okay. And I got a noti notification on Discord. So what just happened? So my application is running on my local machine, which is actually localhost 8000. As you can see, I'm serving the application. But the URL is available as a public URL using ngrox. This is a tool which I will show you during the video how this needs to be used and what is the benefit of doing it. Okay. And because I am able to get this public URL, I have configured my GitHub webhook section to send certain kinds of events. For example, if you see right now, I'm sending issue comments, issues and pushes as webhook notifications to my Laravel application. Now, when my Laravel application gets these notifications, what it does it, it processes it and it sends a notification to Discord. So we are getting notifications from third party application. We are processing it and then we ourselves are sending notifications or rather webhooks to other applications for them to do certain kinds of application uh, behaviors. So that's what I'm trying to cover over here. The code is quite simple. If you ask me, you know, we are going to use the handler method, which is a very common practice in Laravel. We'll have dedicated classes to handle different kinds of events. Okay. We will be handling the comment event, the push event, and then we will also see how we send a notification to the discord server so that it comes as a notification to you for any of the server, which you have or where you have subscribed. Okay. So without much, First, let's get started. So we will get started right from the installation of the Laravel framework. I don't have Laravel as a binary installed on my machine. So what I do is use composer create project. We will name this project as GitHub webhooks. And while this is happening, why don't we also create a repository on GitHub, which is very much required. Okay, it will be a public report repository. Yeah, nothing else. So I'm not going to clone this. I don't require to do that. However, you need to understand that when we go into settings, we have this section as webhooks, right? This is where all the magic is going to happen. I have this option of doing add webhook. And in here, I can configure stuff. For example, I can put any URL. What is the um, kind of content I'm expecting? And also a list of the events. Let's just say I want issue comments. 
So issue comment created, edited or deleted. These three will come and push. That's fine. I think that's more than enough. Now, obviously, one thing which we will have to do is give it a URL. And this will mean I need a URL which can be accessible from the World Wide Web, right? Because GitHub will need to send data as a post request to a URL which I will be able to capture. For this, what I am going to do is use ngrox. ngrox is a client which allows us to, I would say, <clears throat> run our local application and host it as a public URL. Okay. So if you see, if let's say our Laravel application, which typically runs on port 8000, if I download this binary and say ngrox HTTP 3000, or instead of that, we will do 8000. What will happen is we will get some kind of a URL like HTTPS and something something ngrocks.io. Okay. So this means on that URL, when a user is going, he will be able to see the code base which we are working with on our local machine at port 8000, which is really great, right? So I already have an account. I will use my GitHub login, you know, social login to get into this account. And I would request you to download the software based on your operating system. I am on Mac, so I will obviously download this. So in the next video, let's look at how we can set up our application and the public URL for the webhooks. So now that we have Laravel installed, why don't we open up the code in Visual Studio Code. So I'll just open up. Okay. Okay, that's a wrong folder. Okay, and now if I open this inside Visual Studio Code, my uh, shortcut is a little different because my code shortcut takes me to the code folder and hence I have VC in place. Okay, right. So code base is here. Let me zoom in a little bit. I hope you are able to see. And <clears throat> then the next thing that we need to do is first do PHP artisan self. So our application is running on port 8000. And here I have ng rocks. So if I do ng rocks like so ng okay now it needs an authentication token so if you go to the documentation in here you will see connect your account so i'll just copy this paste it in here and it will save this token inside the ng rocks yml file once this is done we don't need to do anything else. We just do HTTP 8000. And it says that we are running our application on this URL. So let me see. This is a public URL and I have Laravel in here. How do I confirm? Why don't we go to web.php close out everything and in here instead of the view I can return one two three and it will start giving me a JSON response fair enough this is working so now we have a public URL of our Laravel application which we can now set as webhook for us to consume the data correct let's see one thing which we need to understand is we cannot have a post call inside web.php because web.php will require a CSRF token. So the best place for these kinds of things is our API.php. So I'll come over here. For the demonstration purpose, I am not doing any kinds of authentication. You can definitely have secret keys 
you can go to this thing but you know where we can have a secret which we can see later on but initially what we are going to do is just try to handle the data okay github webhook now i'll need a controller so let me save this and i'll come back to this page php artisan make controller github webhook controller i want to be you know as specific as i can in these cases because then it becomes a little easy for me to find things for example if i do github right i'll get that this controller if i do webhook also i get this controller so it makes a little you know easy for us to search for things right so github webhook controller class handle or let's just say index doesn't matter need to import this class it's important yes so this controller should have an in the index method which gets the request right <clears throat> and why don't we return request all just to see what is happening okay now our url what we created is this so the final url becomes this slash api so whatever is being uh, you know provided by the ng rocks app then api because we are inside the api.php file and then the webhook url let's just say my secret string okay basically what happens is it creates an shj <coughs> sorry shj 256 of this thing and we can basically validate this okay we will do that later but for now let's just create our webhook and in the meantime before i actually hit the save button you must have seen there is something called as web interface this is very useful so we will open that up here okay clear everything and i'll show you the magic that this web interface gives you so add webhook okay come over here and you can see this is a dummy response this is the summary what are the headers these are the headers which we got okay this is the sha um, signature and again the entire thing and do i i should have also seen the response somewhere if i'm not wrong yes i think this this is the response which we are getting so now i'll show you the very interesting thing you can see this replay button right so what i will do now is go inside this controller and instead of request all why don't we just do one two three again hit replay okay it took 67 milliseconds that's fine this was the post request and we got this as the response so you can see we don't need to multiple times you know call the webhooks or do something for us to uh, debug or do the development okay if you didn't get that let me show you again so let me create an issue go to the new issues tab button and this is my first issue github first issue and I hit submit. Wow, it says 404. That's very strange. Even GitHub has certain issues. So, yeah. Now, it should have 
come over here I guess our configuration is wrong because if I go into my webhooks and if I do edit what do we have issue comments okay issue comments is there a ticket okay so I don't have issues selected here and that's why the problem came in not a problem I can still get certain webhooks from github let me see can I see this information inside my webhook comment and now come over here oh wow so we have this <clears throat> what does it say it's a post call obviously action is created and this is the entire JSON which we are getting why don't we copy this entire thing and find a way for it to make a little bit of sense so JSON beautifier okay I'll just copy paste and do beautify and let's see what do we have we have issue we have comment repository organization sender so issue means we have the URL of the issue API github okay I don't need an API URL um, HTML URL okay this is fine number this is the ticket ID title this is my first issue okay so this is the information about the issue itself but we have a comment right so let's go inside the comment again the comment ha will have you know the URLs and HTML URLs and stuff the ID and then the user Amitav Roy okay this is the login login username that's fine I can even um, get the image if I want to okay and the body can I see this information inside my webhook this is exactly what I had commented if we go over here you can see this is the exact information so this means we can now receive this information so let's look at how we can grab that <clears throat> so inside this request right why don't we first try to handle the different kinds of requests that we have one thing which I forgot to tell you is what kind of webhook is coming will be something which is there in the github event header okay that's how we will need to get that let's go inside our code let's say header is request header and we'll just copy this <coughs> now this header can be of different types for example this one is issue comment and then in the action we can see it said created now if I come over here and is there a way to add a readme damn I should have added that readme hmm how do I do that from the web interface now by creating a new file readme.md this is the project documentation and if I now save with init create new file if we are lucky we will get one more webhook and we do the event header says push okay so we have one more type and this has a different kind of a data structure it has ref before after repository okay after repository we have what do we have in here this is all part of that pusher organization sender commits quite a few things right so yeah let me also duplicate this and add this information because we will need need this Ta -ta -ta -ta. copy 
paste it here and then do beautify commits head commit okay so this one is a little bigger and what we can do is we will start with maybe the comment okay because that one will be easy to kind of work with and then the rest of the things we can very quickly see <clears throat> so what we are expecting we are saying that the header for a new comment will be issue underscore comment so what i am planning to do is create different classes which will handle different kinds of webhooks okay i'll have a handler this is very similar to let's just say if you have looked at the event uh, service provider right they have this neat way of doing listen and this class right so in the array i can say which class and what needs to be executed so i like this structure and what we are going to do is do something similar so not header but rather handler handlers equals this okay and we'll have keys so if issue comment is the key i'll have some class let's go inside app we have actions and inside actions we will have github handle this is going to be comment handle comment dot php okay and every such class will have a handle method okay we are expecting this as one you know, of the function which will be executed because i'll tell you why but for for now we are expecting the request okay dollar request we need illuminate http request over here and how do we call it so let's just say in here issue comment needs to trigger handle comment class correct this is what we want so first of all import this class and what we will do is if we find that the handler doesn't have a key for this request oops undo copy so if dollar handlers array doesn't have this key then we return false exit early because we know we can't do anything with this particular webhook okay so let's just say return false otherwise why don't we do app make okay so using laravel's dependency injections uh, capabilities what we are going to do is we are going to create this class instance okay so i don't need to send the request object to it using new and stuff i'll just do request header oh sorry I'll just need to copy this actually. Why? I have a handlers array and in that I have mapping of classes. So I'm saying when when the header value is issue comment it will create an instance of handle comment class and it will call the handle method and in here we'll pass the request okay it's showing some error in here so i have this what is the problem i think one bracket is extra yeah so if you are getting confused just remember it is as simple as this or 
directly i can also do this okay all of them are same however because i wanted this to be dynamic in nature i have used this format so whatever is the request header github event i am taking that key from the handler and that that value is the class which i want to instantiate okay and i'll call the handle method from that class and once that is done return true okay so now the question is how do we ensure that it is even going into this so let's just do one more thing return um i don't need to return rather i'll do logger i was here okay where is my storage folder storage logs okay, i don't have the log file yet but we will get one once this is executed so let's see i'll come over here and i'll try to replay this and if i replay this i got the log file and it says i was here so we are in business this is something which we can play around with now and the code on how to handle the incoming webhook is something which we will see in the next video so in this class we are going to handle the request which is coming from the webhook right now what i would ideally want to do is still validate the request before i do any kind of you know activity inside my application the reason is very simple my application will be behaving based on certain assumptions about the data okay and that's why it is very important that we first validate them so how do we do that we create a validator and we pass the data first so request all and the second one is the set of rules okay if you see it says that the first is array of data then rules and then messages if i want to so why don't we send that so inside the comment we have action we will try to validate that we have an action then the next thing that we are trying to validate is that it has a title okay and it has a user which has a name inside the login okay and then we have comment comment has user and then the message itself which is where is the message the user object ends here yeah the body something like that okay so so yes let's see how we can do that so action okay. it's going to be a single so i can do this as well action and then issue dot title if i'm not wrong issue that yes then user dot login i know this because i had been you know doing some r and d on this so it's kind of you know, in my memory and then there was one more which is comment html url which is this um by the way so do we need the issue user login or so we need the issue title but we don't need the issue user login rather we should take the comments user login okay because this is a an incoming comment right so we can do like so okay and then we should have comment comment body directly okay 
Now, obviously, with, with these rules, if the validator fails, something like this, why don't we just for now log data has errors log the errors as well and early return with false now if the data is correct what we can do is take that entire validated data from here okay so what all things do we have let's say we create a message okay we want to create a message which is something like this dollar data inside the data we have comment user login right so comment user login commented on ticket inside the ticket we will have mm, okay So the title and saying and you know what maybe we will directly give the link and not show the body because it can be quite big right so comment url so i'll do comment dot url instead So what is our final message looking like we have the user login so comment user login so this will give me the username so let's say it will say Amitav Roy commented on ticket and then data issue title data issue dot title okay and then we will have click here to read and like so okay this is our message and obviously our author will be comment user login right so something like this okay and i'm going to for now just log this into the application okay and return true but soon we are going to create a table where we can store these messages as historical information if you want to and then i will also show you an interesting way to send a webhook to something else for some kind of notifications but yeah let's for now just handle this so our log file is empty we'll come over to our ng rocks thingy and what is this last webhook this is issue comment so why don't we replay this okay we got our 200 which means we have our notification coming over here so what just happened a request came to this url it went to the controller okay we got the header the header in our case this time was issue comment so it knew that issue comment had a handler so it comes here it makes an instance of this app of this class which we have mentioned here and it calls the handle function and it sends the request okay now inside the class we have our handle function which first does the validation okay then these are the sanity checks so with this validated data what i did was i extracted this into a variable called data i created this message and i have locked that message over here right so i am now able to process the information from github which is coming for a new comment okay now why don't we also handle the incoming request for a new issue or rather a new pull request so where was it 
So the event is called push. Okay, and we need to then create a new class as well. So get to a controller. I'll just duplicate this. It says push. We'll create a class which will be handle push. Copy this. Okay. And I'll just copy quite a few things from handle comment. And then let's just start replacing things. Okay. So the namespace is correct. We need still need the request and then the validators are going to be different for sure. Now in this, I basically want only two things. A very simple message which says, a push was done okay with this message by the user so what what all things do we need if we go to this URL we have head commit it has that message okay then inside head commit we have author name correct so or maybe the committer whatever okay so let's just do that in here we will have head commit that is required head commit dot don't do the entire head commit otherwise the data will have all the keys inside that array but I'm specifically looking for the message so head commit dot message and head commit committer hmm? oh no author dot name head committer head commit sorry head commit author dot name okay like so so with this done again We'll come over here. Message is what? Message is head commit author name. And then we will structure the rest of the thing. So head commit and then message. Okay, and why don't we assign this again over here just for simplicity and for now again we are logging the message so we go to ng rocks this is a push we do a replay and we have a 500 error let's see why it is not doing it okay it can't find the class and that's a very common mistake which i do which is this i need to import that class right so clear out things and replay and we have a success and it says Amitav Roy pushed with the commit message in it so it's time to now try with the actual github stuff so I'll come over here and edit this document okay I add this line I'll say updated the readme with new features and I commit. So what happened? I have a new commit to this repository and the message is updated the readme with new features and if I go to my log file it says Amitav Roy pushed with the commit message updated the readme with new features. So this is handled. Okay. Now what do we have in here? let's say I create one more ticket ticket creation we haven't handled so why don't we try the new comment actually okay, I think you can handle the rest of the webhooks on your by yourself you know, because now we already you know, have the ability to get them through ng rocks and you can replay them as many times as you want but I'm just you know, doing a demo here adding one more comment 
to this ticket and then hit save come over here and we can see Amitav Roy commented on the ticket on ticket this is my first issue to read click on this URL now if I copy this URL open it in a new tab it takes me directly to that comment pretty cool right so yes you know by doing this what we have done is we are able to get the webhook notifications coming from github into our laravel application and now just for simplicity what i will also try to do is because i am very active on discord nowadays you know, um, some of you who may be part of the bitfumes community you would know that you know i am part of that community which sarthak had created right so i'm pretty active there and because of that my discord is always on so my expectation is that whenever in a particular repository if someone is commenting maybe you know i can send a webhook notification to discord so that i get to know immediately that something happened okay and this is very very unique in a way because for what i have done is using discord webhook notifications as well i have set quite a few reminders on my own okay and so it helps me in my daily tasks also right now but yes what i am trying to do here is next thing so once we get this uh, webhook inside our application right this two handlers are going to call a discord notification so that we can send the information to discord okay so that's what we are going to see in the next video so let's see how we can send webhook notifications to discord as i told you okay so i have my own personal server where what i am trying to do is create a new channel so you can name anything to your channel i will say web uh, let's say github webhooks after i create this channel you need to go to this settings gear icon right and in here inside integrations we have create webhook option when i do that it creates a channel and it allows me to copy the webhook url let me copy that go to my text editor inside my env have a new key okay and just paste it here I'll keep this in the example as well as best practice and now what we need to do is have a configuration which will allow us to take that so inside the app why don't we have discord webhook url so discord webhook url this will be like so okay and we have a default empty value all right so we have the webhook url inside actions let's have one more file we will call it discord slash send discord notification dot php i'll quickly scaffold some of the code okay so i have this you know basic code in place it's a class which has a handle method like we have done before and what i want to do is the controller makes this handle call right which is where 
let's just say on handle comment we do everything here right and then similarly um you know once we log this thing we will make an instance of our class how we have done here right so something like this okay i imported that class as well and call the handle method okay. and maybe what i want like to do is also send the message and the author okay so inside this send thing i'll have message it's message and author right yes message and author so we will be logging this if everything is running correctly so let me open up my github code base so this is my github code base right and we have our code inside the comment class if i'm not wrong so this is make and if i go inside handle comment i am making this you know hand uh, app make send discord notification right so ideally what will happen is so let me go to one ticket and in here add a new comment and now let's see if we get anything on our logger so okay amitav roy commented on ticket this and then we have an error over here which says target class this doesn't exist hmm and where was this called from so this is handle comment where is it breaking i will send notification handle push is not the one handle comment is where this logger message came in right amitav roy commented on ticket adding new something something which is fine and then this didn't work so is the import missing here no it's not okay let me open up my web interface first i'm not going to make one more comment and start debugging so let me open this why it is serving an error so let's first see if this is the only reason why it is failing so i'll just replay something is happening and then it worked okay let's go down somewhere here and yes the error is not coming so that's fine basically this is getting a successful hit however what mistake have i done in here so that it's not working the namespace is app actions discord and this app actions discord send discord notification i hope the spelling is right copy 
paste this is fine and this is fine as well app make so this does allow me to click through and go in here however this is not which means it has some problem and is this because the namespace is app actions right everything seems to be fine is there some silly mistake which i'm doing yes why not so i made a typo it should have been notification and i had an s there so yes now it is able to go there so i'm sure now it will work let me go back in here replay and yes we have a success and the main thing is i'll send notification it is coming twice because first the handle comment logged this message and then it called for send discord notification where i am logging this so fine the basic code is ready now how do we send it to the discord server right so let's just say what we will do is we'll create an array because i have already done the r and d i know what content we need to send so the message will be coming like this and i'll pass one more key which is username okay <clears throat> like so and then we will make the api call to the discord webhook url to send the message okay now previously i would have used guzzle to make these api calls but with recent versions of laravel we get an http client which is a wrapper on top of guzzle which makes it very easy to work with so discord webhook url this is you know where we want to send it is almost like you know axios post so yeah things have become very easy and i'll have a catch exception okay dollar e if we have an exception then do logger dollar e and then what is it get message if i'm not wrong get message is a function hmm and with this let's just try once more replay and i have something in here let me close it out oh yes i do so amitav roy commented on a ticket adding a new ticket click here to read and as you can see everything is formatted so nicely this is it right so if i now say this is a direct message from github to discord using webhooks and if i add this comment right this goes to our server our server processes the webhook okay and then it sends a webhook notification to the discord channel okay obviously our messaging is wrong so i'm sorry about that but let's just click on the comment and what it should do is basically highlight this particular comment yes so yeah i think this is how you know we can play around with webhooks okay a very important piece here is to understand that you know when you are doing any webhook development it is very important that how we can continuously debug our application or our code right you you saw that you know my class name was wrong i mean obviously it was not intentional but it it is good that i was able to demonstrate you the the reason or the advantages of having such tools you know th this entire replay thing is available to us and i can run this as many times as i want i can make changes to my code 
and confirm that it is working properly. Otherwise, I would have to rely on you know, a public facing server you know, because obviously the webhooks cannot go to localhost 8000 because my application is running on my machine on localhost 8000, right? This is where my application will work. But then ngrox is proxying it. It is mapping my localhost 8000 to this public URL and that's how I am able to get the webhooks to my code base, process them and because I have this replay option, I don't need to type in 10,000, not 10,000, I, I won't say, you know, you need so many API calls for debugging, but yeah, you know, tens uh, of messages to basically debug and configure our code properly. And yes, last but not the least, this HTTP client is really something which I like in you know laravel now the http client is almost like axios you can do a lot of stuff in with this uh, it's a wrapper on guzzle which is a very popular library so yes you should definitely use it for any post calls which you are doing on any webhooks obviously there is this patties implementation package as well but as i told you right i wanted to show you to implement webhooks without any in a special package Everything is done in Laravel. This is vanilla Laravel, nothing extra. You know, we have used this uh, way of, you know, creating the instance of the individual classes and having actions which can do very specific stuff required in our application. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment about your feedback. What do you feel about this way of working with webhooks? What is your view about ngrox? And if you have any other feedback or any problem, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching guys.